folks, Chef Reg back again. Uh, this week I thought we'd go a little bit more traditional with kind of an old classic roast beef dinner. Here we're going to use the beef that we, uh, the other half of the beef I should say, we didn't use for the uh, stew in one of the previous videos. Uh, we're going to be using trimmings that we've used in the past that we've kept refrigerated to uh, help with our gravy and mixing that together and getting that all figured out. Uh, we're going to start it off with a nice rub. Uh, to get everything going on with the beef, we're going to add our water, we're going to add our ingredients here, and as it's roasting, we're going to be making the gravy at the same time by adding in all the flavors. By the end of it, we'll be taking our beef out, we're going to be making our gravy, and we're going to be making some potatoes, and once again, asparagus, because it's delicious, and right now, uh, one of the things that's highly on sale. All right, let's get it on. Starting with our beef, we've got a Dijon mustard with some herbs, some salt and pepper. We're just going to rub all over and we're going to get it nicely coated. Using your hand, don't be too shy, make sure you're nice and clean and let's get rubbing. All around, make sure all areas are completely covered. Once the rub's complete, we're going to take our beef, we're going to load it into our roasting pan, pot, whatever you might have. We're going to add our vegetables just around it. This is all of our strips from all of our peels and everything that we've done in the past. We've kept refrigerated, if not, whatever is fresh. And then we're just going to add our water. Once we've added a cup and a half of water and all our veg, we're just going to go ahead and put a lid on that. If you don't have a lid, tin foil works perfectly. We're going to slide it into a 350 degree preheated oven. We're going to put it in there for about an hour. There we are. Now the beef is about 60 degrees in temperature. I'm going to bring the lid off. I'm going to put it back in the oven for another 60 degrees just to kind of give it a nice dark texture on the outside of the beef. All right, guys, mashed potato time. As everybody knows, it's quicker to cook potatoes cut up. So we're just going to go ahead with that real quick. Just a quick slice. I've already peeled them, obviously. And look at that guy. He tried to run away from us. There we are, we're just going to boil them off and get them all set up. Alright, so now that our potatoes are cooked and they're drained, we're ready to season them up. So you got about four tablespoons of butter, quarter cup milk, one clove of garlic, a teaspoon each of salt and pepper. And just mash that up and we'll be good to go. All right, now it's time to make our roux to thicken up our gravy. So once again, it's just equal parts of butter and flour. This one's a bit, bit of a smaller gravy, so I'm just gonna have about a tablespoon of butter. With that, about a tablespoon of flour. Make sure our butter is melted. And we'll add in our flour. Thank you. 
as you see, the, the roux has a nice white color. Everything's cooked in. We're just going to let that set aside while we heat up our gravy once again. We're going to add that in and thicken it up. All right, now our, now our gravy is pretty warm. We're going to use just a little bit of uh, roux at a time. It does take a few seconds to get thickening, so you just want to give it a good stir and just wait a little bit just to find your perfect consistency. A lot of some people like very thick gravy. I like kind of somewhere in the middle. So I'll see where this takes me before I add any more. As you can see, it's already starting to thicken quite nicely. And I don't know if I'm going to add any more than that. All right, and here we are. Nice gravy to complement the beef and the potatoes. And you're all set with a fantastic meal for the family.